Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. And so in this video, we'll be talking about these four systems. So we have tropical cyclones, which are Earl and Danielle. And we also have these two areas that are being watched by the National Hurricane Center. And so before I go into details with them, Okay, so let's go ahead and start out with a view of the North Atlantic. And so here we have our three systems. We have Danielle up to the north, which is a weakening tropical cyclone. We have Earl struggling down there north of the northeastern Caribbean. And we have that tropical wave. But let's go ahead and talk about the northwestern Caribbean. So in terms of conditions there right now, there isn't much going on. So we see some spots of clouds, maybe a shower or two associated with them. Uh, but pretty fair weather this morning. But as we progress into the afternoon hours, that's typically when to expect rainfall because around this time of year, due to the intense heat, and we would uh, likely experience convectional rainfall in the afternoon hours unless there's an actual system uh, that is giving us rainfall. So uh, that's the story right now for Jamaica and other islands of the Caribbean. And then now let's go ahead and talk about Danielle. So looking at this cone forecast from the National Hurricane Center, we're seeing that Danielle uh, currently has max maximum sustained winds of 75 miles per hour and it is accelerating towards the northeast at 8 miles per hour so it's picking up in its pace over the past couple of days and so it is going to be slowly weakening but it should approach post-tropical cyclone status by near the end of this week on Thursday and it is likely to make a curve to the east and it could bring some impact to portions of western Europe maybe the remnants of it but there's no guarantee of that happening and uh, with the remnants we wouldn't expect a whole lot to happen. Uh, so let's wait and see what's going to be happening throughout the next several days with Danielle. Now looking at Earl on satellite, Earl is not looking too good this morning. It's actually weakened uh, since yesterday because it was close to being a hurricane. It had winds of 70 miles per hour, but now the cyclone is not looking so good. Uh, it's definitely been sheared out there. So we'll be looking at the wind shear map very shortly, but that is the reason for for Earl's uh, look right now, but we do have that new area of deep convection popping up. So let's see if it is going to continue to persevere through the wind shear and get itself together over the next several hours. At and so going on to the cone forecast for Earl here, we're seeing that uh, it is expected to become a hurricane by early tomorrow and a major hurricane maybe by Saturday so during the next couple of days it is going to be accelerating into more favorable conditions to enable intensification of the system but as of now it has sustained winds of 65 miles per hour with higher gusts and it is moving to the north at 7 miles per hour so it's still a slow moving cyclone but it will be picking up in its pace very very soon and by Friday it is likely to pass just east of Bermuda and so the island uh, will not likely be directly impacted however it will be close enough to the center to experience maybe trop even tropical storm like conditions so it depends on how organized the system is at the time but if it's going to be in close proximity to the island it is likely that the island is going to experience uh, some impacts as a result of the cyclone uh, if it is a hurricane at the time approaching major hurricane strength uh, impacts are likely to be more intense but hopefully nothing very major out there so if that wind feel for tropical storm winds is wide then it is likely that Bermuda is going to be feeling uh, tropical storm like impacts however if it is small then we shouldn't be expecting uh, too much from these systems so let's wait and see what's going to be happening but Bermuda keep your eyes up for the uh, end of this week when Earl is expected to make its way by. Moving on to conditions as I speak. So here we have the wind shear map. We have the green that means favorable, the yellow means neutral, and the red means unfavorable. So this might be a little bit confusing, but here we have Earl right within that region. We see that we have those reds which indicate the unfavorable shear. So it is in unfavorable conditions right now and it has been persevering over the well ever since it developed it has been persevering because conditions were never the most favorable from the start. So uh, conditions should become more conducive and it should make its way into an area of more favorable shear that will enable it to steadily intensify or even rapidly intensify into a hurricane. So that is it for Earl. 
And so moving on to these two disturbances, so we are seeing that we have that first one, which is located in the vicinity of the Cabo Verde Islands, given a medium chance to develop. So we see a 60% chance for possible development over the next couple of days. And so a general westward track is expected and then a west-northwestward track uh, across the Atlantic. And so it is likely to encounter unfavorable conditions over the next uh, several days. So it really has limited time to get itself together. But if this does manage to intensify into a tropical cyclone, then it will acquire the name Fiona, which is the next name to be used. And then that other tropical wave about to emerge off Africa. So here we have it and we are seeing that imminent development is not expected. However, once it makes its way into that shaded yellow region, then we could see some intensification of the system and the chance will gradually increase if uh, it is likely that we will have development development taking place here. So will this be a problem for the Caribbean? Well, the answer is uh, there is no absolute answer right now because uh, it is pretty far out and we can see a lot of changes between now and whenever it uh, develops, if it even develops. So the track of it will be dependent on the high pressure system. A uh, stronger high would enable the system to make its way more to the west. Meanwhile, a weaker high would enable a more uh, northwestward like track with the system. But I would say that the Caribbean should definitely be keeping eyes on the Atlantic because this is a time of year when tropical cyclones brew out there. And one thing that is going to be helping to contribute to the tropical cyclone development that is expected is the La Nina. So moving on to this map right here. So we're going to see those blues uh, in the Pacific off the coast of South America uh, is where we have our Enso region, El Nino Southern Oscillation. So when we're in a La Nina phase, that indicates that conditions will be more convenient conducive in the Atlantic and how you may ask well when we have cooler conditions over in the Pacific there is less shower and thunderstorm activity taking place over there and all that shower and thunderstorm activity usually helps to kick up the wind shear over portions of the Atlantic so once we have a reduction in that then there will be more favorable wind shear across the Atlantic basin to enable tropical cyclone development so that is the typical influence of La Nina it helps to favor more development in the Atlantic Basin. And we are in a moderate La Nina with a current value of minus 1.01. So guys, it is likely that we're going to be seeing a lot more activity to come as we progress into the next several weeks and the final few months of the hurricane season. So uh, yes, we haven't seen anything major thus far this year, but that doesn't mean it's out of the picture completely because we still have a long way to go. And of course, I'm going to be keeping you updated as time goes by. And so that is really it for this video. And if you found it to be quite informative, please give a thumbs up and you can share thoughts in the comments or ask a question. I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And of course, remember to always be with wise.